Hello survivors and welcome to Jotun Slayer Hordes of Hell. The demo was just released on Steam so it is available for absolutely everyone and we have excellent news. A couple of things changed, there's a new character, the UR updates, uh, GUR updates and elements. Uh, the meta progression got changed to Virtue so it looks like this now with the Berserker. Freya, Thor, and the new Karis character series. So you can see I've got banishes and rerolls, and then a whole bunch of damage, a bit of health regen, and then some collection range and damage reduction from Freya. So let's get straight into it. We're going to be playing on the brand new character, and we're going to be playing on difficulty two, uh, which we find over here. So we've got Raider, we've got Warrior. Uh, actually, sorry. Uh, yeah, it is. Sorry. The so we get that this isn't available in the demo so we've only got the second you know uh difficulty available for us but then we've also got the modifiers which we're going to leave for now we'll keep that for another video now they did bring out skill evolutions as well which we're hopefully going to be able to get to see today they are very rng-ish and i haven't really found a specific way of unlocking them per se so we'll see what happens with that now uh, we're just going to quickly pause over here we want to take a look at her innate trait which is her eldritch wards which means that a time recharging small shield appears above series head uh, which is this over here and then this does what this does is when we receive damage a shield a changes into a ward providing invulnerability we can have up to three charges it triggers on being hit and we're invulnerable for a second it takes 35 seconds to recharge this ward and then for our weapon uh, we just shoot at the enemies we can curse them there's a cooldown and so on and so forth a wave of malignant energy that has the power to curse or even instantly kill non-elite enemies so there you go 30 percent chance to instantly kill enemies uh, there's a chance to curse them which gives you uh, that makes them take more damage and so on so that's that over here at the end of all time so if we click it you can see a south and like it said there is a chance of it instantly killing enemies which is really cool all right i like to use the automatic aiming or the auto the smart aiming is what they call it and then sometimes we'll we'll swap to the manual aiming for that as well now there are actually some upgrades to thor and that uh, i'm not going to worry too much about it in the beginning we want to try and get freya going so we're going to take thunderstorm thunderstorm is actually pretty legit so we, we're quite happy to grab that anyway and then we got to try and get uh i think it's the sentinel but i don't see it oh, actually explosive nature is really good as well so we'll keep that going so explosive nature thunderstorm and then we're also going to grab ourselves some of the there are two skills we're looking for one is going to be the sentinel which is an upgrade from the uh, thor and then series has an upgrade called mind blast which we get over here we're going to get it to level three first and then there's a chance of evolving it i hope i hope you don't need some other skills and everything like that i haven't really put two and two together for that i just know that i managed to evolve two or three of my skills and one of them was the mind blast and the other was the sentinel both of which the evolutions are just completely insane so i really want to show you guys these two evolutions uh over here we're gonna grab ourselves who what do we get i think we're gonna grab ourselves premonition so there's a chance that our ward doesn't actually get used and we'll go from there Grab the laugh. Fantastic. All right, grab series. There's level two of our mind blast. That's fantastic. There are some really cool uh, abilities that the character has. She has some skill that gives a bubble to us, which we'll probably use, which stops any small projectiles those come from the elite enemies and the archers as well so those enemies they they did change the elite enemies to get brand new attacks as well which is really cool which we can hopefully get to see in this run as well hopefully we don't kill things too quickly Alright, so we're going to grab Thor. I still don't see what we're looking for, so we'll just grab Thunderstorm 2. Again, it's still a bit early, so we're not worried about banishes, rerolls, and things like that. 
Thor is fantastic uh, compared to Freya just because of the sheer amount of damage that comes out of his skills. You also get the skill damage bonus from Thor. Uh, I think Freya is very good if you're trying to gain levels in gold and things like that. But I think by the time you get to a much higher level in the game, like a difficulty, you're going to land up taking all of them. So I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. But for now, I think Ceres works very, very well with Thor more than with Freya. The double cast on Freya is really juicy, but uh, not for us. All right, ward effectiveness. Okay, we're gonna grab primitive uh, prime evil currents over there, get ourselves increased damage to our skills, and we actually have to make it all the way to the other side of the game to get the objectives, but there's so much XP over here that we just wanna get that first. This is why we went for XP collection range in our virtues, because we wanted to be able to pick up all this juicy XP that just drops everywhere when you're playing this character. Alright, we're still not seeing it, but we get the Mart of Mejenjord. Mejenjord, Mejenjord. I'm sure I'm getting it half right, so, you know. There's that. Okay, there's a treasure chest over here. Give me XP. Pull all XP within a certain range. We're just going to grab that. It's not what I was looking for, but you can see there's a lot of XP that that came and gave us. Uh, all skills deal more damage again. Perfect. We'll grab that. And now we've got these guys over here. I'm going to try and spawn all of them. Uh, we didn't really get the skill we were looking for, which helps us kill them really, really quickly. But we are going to have to start re-rolling now to try and get it. It is a Thor. It's the Sentinel skill from Thor. And it just completely annihilates things. It's like playing on easy mode. Alright, luckily all the champions are pretty much next to each other, so that makes things a lot easier for us as well. So they introduced this, which is a subclass. Uh, I like to go with a hag, which is what we're going to do over here. So all damage is increased by 25%. Uh, that we get a damaging aura around series during Eldritch Ward, uh, which does 20 damage per second, uh, radius of five meters. I'm not sure I would like an indicator for that, and you don't really see it. Uh, I don't know if it's maybe because I've stopped getting hit every time I take hag, but uh, there are some interesting ones like the Soul Collector and the Witch, uh, negative. Uh, negates all debuffs on series when Eldritch Ward is activated or every picked up XP crystal has a chance to replenish Eldritch Ward so I mean they're both really really good options I just enjoy the flat damage it just seems to do me better but you know everyone's up for their own personal preference and so on and so forth so you know play the game how you want still a demo so there's no like best way of playing it I mean, there's always the best way of playing something, an efficient way of playing something, but here we're about having fun. Okay, so we want to grab ourselves none of these. We're going to re-roll. We want to grab time manipulation, and then there's another one which increases the attack of our the explosion. So you can see every time the attack hits, there's that little circle around there. There's a passive that she gets that makes it so that, that 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 is increased in size we did also see the time manipulation which is the one that stops the bullets which we probably should have taken as well but again i'm looking specifically to get thor and the sentinel and we're trying to get as many much xp as possible so we don't really need that right now i've done i've finished this difficulty without it already so we're not really too worried about it All right, there's Thor, still no Sentinel. We're gonna re-roll now. Oh, we didn't get it there either. All right, we're gonna grab the Prime Evil Currents level two, just because it's more skill damage. 
which makes sense. So then our shout deals more damage. Okay, we'll go grab the Curse of Winter right now and then we'll go make our way to the chest at the top over there. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, that's cool. Shows you what the Archon is when you hover over it. Doesn't tell you that's health though. But all of that stuff is health. Alright, Curse of Winter is affecting all enemies as well, so we're not too stressed. And then because we're playing on the second difficulty, which we've actually never shown you guys this on the channel, but there are going to be more objectives, but the final boss is the same without the Majolna, I mean not Majolna, the Sentinel, we might not do very well against the final boss, but we'll, we'll double check that. And we should be okay with the shout skill that we've got. I think you, if you get like really lucky with Freya, you could do a whack ton of damage with the double chance to, uh, let's pull in XP, the double chance to, to have your spells, uh, you know, do the same thing over. There's Sentinel, so it deals damage. This one over here, really, really good. So we got it. When you evolve that skill, oh boy, is it good. Alright, Curse of Winter is over. Yeah, I don't know if evolutions have something to do with filling up all of your slots for your skills or if it has something to do with just playing the game and eventually things will land up being evolved. Uh, I really don't know. Alright, so over here we're going to grab this. So we've got that. I would like Devastating Hit as well, but we'll go with the Mart first. So our skill damage is higher. As you can see, it makes a very big difference. Pull all XP around us in. That's beautiful, actually, because there was quite a bit around us. And then we get three more rerolls, which will become in handy for us. Okay, we don't need to use that. You can see, I don't know if this is a bug maybe, but the enemies after a certain amount of time don't spawn as much as they're supposed to. I don't know if that's something. But over there, there was a time, I don't know if I just killed everything too quickly and the enemies just didn't spawn. But we had a moment there of serenity. Again, game's just in demo, but this game is fantastic. I want to try and get all the virtues to full and see just how ridiculous we can make the characters. Alright, so now we've got the Nit Stacks, um, these mute you. So you do need to try and get rid of them as quickly as possible with auto attacks. So you do want your auto attacks to deal a decent amount of damage. So there we go, one of them dead already. I'm not getting what I want. So this is the Dark Tidings. Remember I told you the attack range gets stronger or bigger. So that's it over there. We are going to take that. That makes our AOE much better, especially for our auto attacks, which is going to be very helpful for this mission as well, especially since we muted now we now get to auto attack things at a much better rate. Uh, there's no, oh, there's a chest over here. We're going to go and grab that. Don't know why I used that, but I did. Go grab the chest. As you can see, we got three of the Eldritch things, the Eldritch wards that haven't really been used either. As soon as you get to a certain point in the game, you stop taking a lot of the damage so we'll grab the damage increase over there and that should allow us to kill this knot totem or whatever it's called nuts nishanks yeah sorry my, my nordic uh, speaking is not very good okay static charge uh upon taking damage no we need to grab our dear friend Okay, we didn't get Thor there, but we're not even getting what I'm looking for. 
Okay, there's Man Blast level 3, so that's good. We already, at least we get the level 3 Man Blast. But never got Sentinel. Uh, at least we got the Man Blast, so hopefully we can level it up now. Or at least evolve it. I don't know if there's a maximum amount of class skills that you can have. It doesn't show open or closed slots sort of thing. So I don't know how it works. Like I mentioned, it could just be random. It could be that you need specific passives like we've normally got with the other game modes. So we'll have to see. There's Sentinel level two, fantastic. Now we just need him level three. I can't remember, I think in this game when you banish, it actually removes the level up in a sense. So you don't have to be careful if you want to banish things. It is going to use a level up. Where other games banishing just you banish something. So we do have to be a little bit careful. But you see we did lose Eldritch Ward then. You don't see an area of effect like the passive we got where you know if we're from from a subclass. So I don't know if it's not working or if it's just an invisible area of effect that is supposed to be doing damage but because we kill things pretty quickly we don't see it anyway so I'm not 100% sure how the hag works here but I just take it for the extra damage not necessarily for the Aldrich Ward to become a righteous fire Alright, we get Thor upgrade, not what I'm looking for. Uh, I think we're kind of happy. <sighs> what? Uh, it's not what I want. Okay, we get Sentinel level 3. That's fine. So if we don't get the evolutions, it's not the end of the world. Let's see, do we get it? No, we don't. Uh, let's see, increase duration of all positive buffs that can affect us. We're not really interested. Let's see, yeah, we'll reroll one more time. A chance to stun an enemy with an attack. We'll just grab ourselves Majolna. It doesn't really matter too much. I don't know. It is what it is. We should still level up another two or three times. Hopefully this gives us the gem that gives us 50% XP. Mm, no, just pull in all the experience crystals. I mean, that's more than 50% XP over there, so that's fine. Why? Just give it to me, please. Alright, we'll grab Bone Chill. I don't know. Maybe we need to get all one more. I don't know. But it's not working. Okay, now I saw the damage over time effect. Alright, skill upgrade, there we go. We got the Mind Blast Evolution. This is insane. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So there we go. <laughs> Disgusting. Do we get another class skill upgrade? We get the God skill upgrade for Thunderstorm, but we didn't get the upgrade for our sentinel so we might see an evolution for the thunderstorm which i myself haven't seen but these are fantastic look at the uh, shout skill that we've got now that goes everywhere and it's going to be insane we'll see the dps at the end of the run that is beautiful i'm so happy we managed to get the evolution uh, again i don't know if you need the passives or if you need to kill those guys near the end uh, it would be really cool if it wasn't from the chests but uh, it also means that maybe you should keep the chests when you kill those guys earlier uh, for a little bit later on in the run or maybe you keep all of the chests for that per, you know that upgrade so the chests could be for the upgrades or for the evolutions but uh, again i'm not 100 percent certain on this just yet i will drop a comment once i know more information about it myself 
Uh, extraction means that we, any time Eldritch Torch is triggered, there's a chance to suck in nearby crystals. It's from 30 meters away. So, I mean, we could intentionally get ourselves hurt. We've got three rocks of it. So, if we wanted, we could get it done. Alright, the next objective is up and running. Or available, sorry. Here, we just got to kill things inside the circle. It's going to be quite difficult for our character because we are very strong and we kill everything outside of it. But luckily, we got those flying creatures that are going into the actual circle to help us with that. I would like to get hit here just so I can go and pick up all of this XP. Trying to walk into the enemy to get that done. So here you go, as you can see, just by getting them leveled up. I don't know what causes this. We are going to take the Sentinel. What it does is, it doesn't actually tell you what it does, but now you can see the lightning is coming from my body itself instead of from the Sentinel as a spawn, which is really, really strong. Uh, it also makes it so that we've always got it available. And it's just really, really, really strong, like I mentioned. So <laughs> it's just really fun to play with all of the upgrades. <laughs> uh, just completely destroying the enemies over there. We're going to take the damage. Why not? We are just so overpowered. I think we need to add modifiers to this because once you get those evolutions, the game becomes very trivial, as you can see. You're going to see even on the final boss fight, we are going to completely wreck him. Just destroy him in seconds. Okay, we get the Thunderstorm Evolution. Again, it just says, God skill, automatic cast, entire might of the storm concentrated into one powerful strike. Oh, that's cool. All right, so we got to see how much damage that does to things. There we go. 600 damage over there. Oh, we just crit something for 700. That's huge. So I would like to see some other evolutions. We didn't get any other skills that we can take to kind of look at it. And again, I think our skills are maxed out. So I think we do have to get our class skills up to get that. But the god skills, there's more space for them. So we probably could go and get Freya now and so on and so forth. It would be nice if this wasn't random, the Thunderstrike, and it went for like the closest enemy or whatever the case may be. But is what it is. There's not much we can really do about that. All right, sacrificed enemies. Quite difficult to sacrifice enemies when we deal so much area damage, but there we go. We managed to do it. And then gave ourselves another level. Let's see, we could have gone for that, but let's do something like uh, increased invulnerability when we trigger the ward. But let's go kill the boss. I wonder how long it's gonna take us to kill him. I don't think it's gonna take very long. Let's see how quickly we can get this done. Alright, we can just skip that animation, doesn't really matter, and curse the boss. We do have the wards, so we're not really worried about whether or not we get hit, and there we go, a couple of seconds, and because of all the evolutions, he dies within a couple of seconds. Loving it. Alright, so we do get a different uh, raid result or end screen, so we made 131 gold over there. We also landed up getting some soul stones. Uh, enemies defeated, elite, boss, and then your DPS for everything. The Mind Blast dealing more, nearly more damage than our auto attack. Really, really good. 80 DPS over there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.